Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to use comparators. I'll discuss three types of comparators, the non-inverting comparators, inverting comparators and the window comparators. So let's get started. In many electronic circuit, we need to compare two different voltage level. Let's say you are going to design a temperature alarm system. If the temperature goes higher than the normal level, then it turned on the alarm. Now you know the output voltage of the temperature sensor is changes depending upon the temperature. So you have to compare the reference voltage with the output voltage of the sensor. For that you need one comparator. So this is the symbol of comparator and it has three pin V1, V2 and V out. This is VCC and this one is ground. These three are functioning pin and these two are power supply pin. One input pin is non-inverting pin and the other one is inverting pin. Now V1 is greater than the V2 then our output will be high and if V1 is less than the V2 then our output will be low which means if non-inverting voltage is less than the inverting voltage then output will be low and if non-inverting pin voltage is higher than the inverting pin voltage then output will be high as example if V1 is 9 volt and V2 is 5 volt then our output will be high and if V1 is 6 volt V2 is even if it is 6.1 volt then our output will be low ok now let's see the non-inverting comparators in the non-inverting comparators the input voltage should go to non-inverting pin and we connect reference voltage to the inverting input. If the input voltage is higher than the reference voltage then our output will be high. V in is greater than the V reference then our output will be high. So this is why it is called non-inverting comparators and for the inverting comparators it is just opposite. Let's see this thing on the breadboard. Before that we need to see comparator IC LM358. It has two individual comparators comparator 1 comparator 2. Here is the pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Pin number 1 is output of comparator 1. This one is inverting input of comparator 1 and pin number 3 is non-inverting input of comparator 1. Like this pin number 5 is non-inverting input for this comparator and pin number 6 is inverting input for this comparator and pin number 7 is the output. Pin number 4 is connected to ground, pin number 8 is connected to VCC. So on the breadboard we will see only one comparator for this example ok. Pin number 8 is connected to VCC, pin number 4 is connected to ground pin number 1 is output cathode of the LED is connected to ground through 100 ohm resistor as we can see here the reference voltage is given to the inverting input this is pin number 2 this is pin number 3 and this one is pin number 1 so now connect VCC for the IC I am giving reference voltage 5 volt ok at pin number 2 and the input voltage to the pin number 3 here is the ground ok now take the multimeter this multimeter will show the reference voltage and this multimeter will show the input voltage connect common pin of multimeter to the ground for this multimeter also and for this multimeter we have to connect to the pin number 2 as we are measuring the reference voltage and for this multimeter pin number 3 ok 
so whenever this reading is greater than this this LED will glow this one is input voltage this one is reference voltage okay the reference voltage is 5.2 volt and the input voltage is it is 0.9 millivolt now I am increasing this voltage 4.5 up to 5.1 it is not glowing now see see as this value is greater than this the LED is glowing now if we keep on increasing our LED will still glow okay so whenever I reduce the voltage below 5.2 volt 5.5 5.4 see our LED is turned off so this is the non-inverting comparators in the inverting comparator we will connect the input voltage to the inverting pin and the reference voltage to the non-inverting pin so whenever the input voltage is higher than the reference voltage our output will be low in case of non-inverting comparators we have seen whenever the input voltage is higher than the reference voltage the output is high but in case of inverting comparators if the input voltage is higher than the reference voltage our output is low so this is the difference between inverting and non-inverting comparators as we know the non-inverting pin is pin number 3 and inverting pin is pin number 2 and output is 1 ok now we will connect reference voltage to this pin and input voltage to this pin so these are the basic connections so we don't have to change it I am providing 5.2 volt at pin number 3 and input voltage to the pin number 2 that is inverting pin this one is the ground ok now let's take multimeters as before this multimeter is for input voltage and this one is for reference voltage now reference voltage is 5.2 volt and our LED is glowing now I am increasing the input voltage Five point one. Okay. Now see, see this voltage is higher than this, so our LED is turned off. Now, if I keep on increasing, this will not be affected. Now, if I reducing the voltage, LED is turned on. So this is the basic difference between the inverting comparators and non-inverting comparator. Now let's see the window comparator now in the window comparator it has two reference voltage and one input voltage and one output so if you see the block diagram let's say this one is window comparator it has one output one input okay and it has two voltage reference the upper level and the lower level the upper level VTH that is higher threshold voltage and this one is VTL lower threshold voltage let's see one graph here you will understand it easily here our V out and this one is input signal this one is VTH and VTL let's say we are giving an input signal like this ok so our output will be so our output will be only this portion will be high why because the voltage why because the input voltage is false between the VTL and the VTH only this portion and again only for this portion also the output will be high again 
and this will lower because it this portion is higher than the VTH again here it is low because it is lower than the VTL okay to design an window comparator we need two general comparators here is our two comparator inverting non-inverting pins now we'll connect VTH to this pin and VTL to this pin and we'll connect these both and we'll supply input voltage here okay I'll supply here 5.2 volt and here I'll apply 3.3 volt my output will be high whenever higher than the 3.3 volt and lower than the 5.2 volt if the input voltage is lower than the 3.3 volt then my output will be low and again if my input voltage is higher than the 5.2 volt then my output will be again low now connect these both and I will take output from here I have to pull up this point with 10 kilo ohm resistor this pin is VCC okay to do and function whenever the input voltage is false between these two both the comparator output will be high okay so that is why we need AND function AND okay logic AND we have seen the pin diagram before till now we used only one comparator now this time we need two comparator so according to the pin diagram we can say this pin is pin number 1 this will be pin number 7 this one is pin number 3 this one is pin number 2 this one is pin number 5 and this pin is pin number 6 so let's see this on the breadboard so first pin number 8 is connected to plus VCC and pin number 4 goes to ground now pin number 3 is upper threshold voltage or higher threshold voltage I'll connect this side and the lower threshold voltage is connected to pin number 6 and I'll connect this side pin number 2 and 5 are connected together and also the both output 1 and 7 are connected we'll take output from pin number 1 and 7 together connect a 100 ohm resistor and it goes to ground we have to pull it up to the plus VCC the output the both the output pins I have connected the 10 kilo ohm resistor now connect plus VCC here ground is connected the higher threshold voltage as in the diagram I told you I'll connect here 5.2 volt and in the lower threshold voltage I have connected here 3.3 volt ok and our input voltage will connect to pin number 2 and 5 so here I am connecting the input voltage and the ground take a multimeter the LED is glowing and our input voltage is 3.5 volt that is greater than the lower threshold voltage the intensity of LED is reduced but it is still glowing for some leakage current ok and again reduce the voltage see it is glowing in full intensity now less than 3.3 volt again it is glowing but in low intensity there is one error we are getting in this circuit so to improve it we have to use the logic gate I will use AND gate 7408IC in the previous circuit diagram we have seen this circuit but this time we are not going to connect these two we will add one AND gate here AND logic and we will connect to the input of the gate ok and we will take output from here this will work better than previous circuit and I am using 7408 AND gate ok and I have already discussed about this IC the link in the description below so now let's see the circuit now see this before we have connected both the pin 1 and 7 but this time we will provide this two pin input to this AND gate ok and this time we don't need the pull up resistor now see pin number 1 
will go to pin number 1 of IC7408 and pin number 7 will go to pin number 2 of IC7408. This is the gate number 1 and we will take output from pin number 3. I will connect LED here. Cathode of the LED will go to ground through 100 ohm resistor. Okay. This IC works in 5 volt, so the VCC pin of IC should connect to 5 volt. Okay. As VTH is 5.2 volt, so I can connect with it. And the ground pin of IC is connected to the ground. Now see again, the higher threshold voltage connected, the lower threshold voltage is connected. This one is 3.3 volt, this one is 5.2 volt. Now connect input voltage to pin number 2 and the ground ok now take the multimeter again this one is our common pin and the voltage measuring pin is connected to pin number 2 or you can connect pin number 5 also now our connection is completed now let's turn on the power supply our input voltage is 1 volt now I am increasing it up to 3.2 volt LED is not glowing if I increase it it is glowing the VTL is a little bit lower than the 3.3 volt that's why the LED is glowing now again if I keep on increasing it up to 5.2 volt now if I increase it again LED is turned off because our input voltage is higher than the 5.2 volt. If I keep on increasing it, our circuit will not get affected. Ok. Now again, the input voltage is between VTL and VTH. Our LED is glowing and again turned off. So this is how the window computer works. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I will show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.